on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. So, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of everything that's happened up till now. Wait, 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 wait. So, you're saying that you and your sister are part mute? Apparently, yeah. Jaguars. Okay, and this Scarlet Mane dude is using this uh, mega mute monkey to find other human helmets. Yeah. And apparently you guys must be immune to the things he using to control people. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Huh. That's that's crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but just it's just a thing. I'm trying to still cope with everything so <laughs> just wow I huh so what do we do now Kipo besides you know the usual thing what are you talking about well of course we're going to save Dav oh yeah that's that goes without saying and everyone else so the thing is what else what what, what more is there to be done what can we do? My oh, dad did say something about some goats. Goats? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So he wants us to meet with goats. Wait, that means he knew he knows mutes that he trusts? Apparently. Okay, so what are we going to do about them? I have an idea. What? The Timber Cats. No. Yeah. No. Pl please, no. Yeah, we have no choice. They're the only ones who are actually capable. Fine. Fine! But first, they're going to have to go through some uh, training. And I want all of you to pay attention because this strain might be a little intense for people who are not used to it. And I'll be keeping an eye on all of you. Izuku seeing that, yeah, everyone's concerned except for Troy, which he said, will follow you anywhere. That's the spirit! Good, yeah, let's go. Keep on getting some vibe from Troy to like, wait a minute, something don't feel right. This somewhat seems familiar. As they undergo their trials, yeah, keep on noticing how close Troy is actually getting towards Izuku. Her getting some flashbacks into how Troy would spend a lot of time hanging out with Izuku, or at least trying to make them an excuse. Especially when it came to exploring after school. So, yeah, Kiva is starting to just like. Oh no, here we go again. We're, it, please don't let this happen. I pray that I'm wrong, or else he's. He's, he's gonna. Say, is there something wrong, Kipo? Oh god, I hope not. Okay. As soon as they are accepted by a timber cats, Izuku and the others head off. But not before Troy is... This might be the only time uh, I get to say this. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm coming back. I... Yeah, but what if you don't? I, I don't want to leave any loose ends or anything. I... Troy, I'm strong. I'm fast. I can handle myself. You don't have to worry about Jack. Benson, catching on, like... 
Please don't tell me he's gonna. Don't tell me he's actually gonna do this. What's that, Vincent? You know what? Screw it. Troy grabbing Izuku by the face and kissing him. Izuku's eyes grow wide at this, realizing what's going on, what just happened, as tears start to run down his face. So as Troy releases Izuku, he's he sees the tears. He's like, I'm sorry if that's too sudden, but I I didn't want to risk uh, anything considering I did. <laughs> did I fetch you that much? I don't know why? Why? Is everyone around, especially the Timbercats, saw that? What's, uh, keep it what's on your brother. <sighs> okay. To make a long story short, Izuku's not gay. Oh. Oh! Troy realizing what he's done and why Izuku's crying. <laughs> why? Not just once, but twice? Why is this happening? Why is this happening to me? I did nothing wrong to deserve such a surprise. I could, I, I could. Not just my first, but my second. All oh, this. Wait, what's he talking about? So I'm not his first. Benson looking down, like, just raising his hands, like, yeah, that was me. So you, I took his first kiss by, by surprise. No. Yes. And, oh. Oh. Him looking at Yuzuku, still with tears in his eyes. Like, <sighs> why? Why am I getting ambushed with love confessions? Keep those. I don't know why, but I'm. I'm slick jealous, but also I feel sorry for you. I just don't know which one to feel most. You, you can feel both. It's just. I don't care. I. <clears throat> I didn't. <sighs> this is some. Um... Why? Troy, why? You're my best friend. If I was, it'd be weird for us to actually be a thing. You're like, wait, so if you were, you wouldn't? Yes, I. I got no you longer than Benson. Heck, we probably would have been. As Benson just looks as like, wait, so you probably would have chosen him over me. Well, if anything, we would have probably already been going out, or if anything, you, you know, it's just, um, it depends on uh, if we were or weren't. If we weren't, I will probably get to know you better, and it will be along the lines of my newest best friend or someone who I've known for years, and it's getting a little complicated, really, so. <sighs> but seriously. I could have possibly denied that Benson was my first kiss. Given my giving me another chance of having a first kiss. But now with you, Troy, ambushing me I'm so sorry. It's 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 is it bad enough that you ambush me? It's, it just makes it a bit worse considering we have so many witnesses seeing your displays for affection. Because on one hand, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I really do care about you and Benson. Just not in that way. So you only see us see as friends. Exactly. 
<sighs> damn. Just, just damn. Why? <sighs> what about me is attracting, is attracted to you guys? Well, you're strong. Well, yeah, so what? You're very smart. As they start naming other things that, well, he's a good guy. He, how he does get very protective over people he cares about. How he is very tech savvy when he needs to be. He's a quick learner. And yada yada yada. Him being flattered but he just. Uh, as much as I love the compliments. I'm still upset that you. That you two. Uh, you know what. Uh, Kibo. This. this Let's find the goats already. See what they want or whatever. Are you sure you don't need a minute? I'll... I'll be fine. It's just... A lot to take in right now. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I believe you. It's not every day that... You get confessed to... Yeah. If I think, like I said, I like you guys as friends, and I don't swing that way. I'm, and I'm, I'm very sorry. No, no. Uh, if anything, it's pretty much our fault. We should have asked first if you were, you know, if I was gay. Yeah, I would prefer if you'd ask before assaulting my lips, but. <sighs> It's, it's fine. Let's not make a big deal out of this. As soon as they head by the goats, Izuku and Kibo are obviously allowed in, and they pretty much undergo the whole herbs in, herbs out thing. Izuku wanting to hurt the little oracles, Kibo being the voice of reason telling him, you know, no, that there's a reason for everything. Plus they're blind, so they probably don't know what they're doing. Upon learning that they knew exactly what they were doing, they let their intentions be known. The amount of pissed off Izuku is doesn't even begin to cover it. All because it's like... So... What well, if we didn't dodge? Well, then you would have become a pincushion. I, I, I really want, I really want to kill you guys. You could try, but we already know each move you're going to make. <clears throat> fair, very, very fair, but I. Just say thank you and let's be done with it. Uh, d no, don't do not do not do that. <sighs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. <sighs> okay. Let's, let's, let me just collect myself. There's a lot going through my mind. It's actually quite interesting with you two. Hmm? You seem to have a, a good grasp on your powers already. The only thing being, you just need to... Hmm. You know. Find an anchor. Uh, anchor? Yeah, something that tethers you to yourself or this human you. Well, I think we got that covered, right, Kipo? Yeah. Yeah, of course we do. We do, right? Of course. Of course. Hmm. She does not seem too sure of herself. You, on the other hand... No, you can do this, but your sister, she seems very hesitant. 
Yeah, she does, doesn't she? I wonder why. Um, I'm not going. I'm not good at control. I'm not as good as control at controlling myself as you are. Okay, you happy now? Uh, no, not really. That just means you are a danger to yourself and others. If you do lose control, when I lose control. <sighs> So it looks like we're going to need that anchor after all. So, hmm, where do we go to from here? Well, there was a burrow that your father was a part of that he left in a hurry. Right. This, this isn't, that wasn't uh, our original burrow that we we're from. Hmm. So that would mean we would, uh, yes. Hmm. Interesting. So what you're saying is if we find the burrow, we can learn more about ourselves. Or at least find an anchor for Kipo so she doesn't lose all sense of reason. Pretty much, yeah. So, where is it? Oh, we don't know that. Uh, how do you, how can you be psychic, future telling, and whatever, and not know what the burrow is? Hey kid, we we just we just read the cheese. It, it doesn't show us the way, all the time. It's not like a map. <sighs> Fine. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wing it or something. Wait, 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 wait. I know exactly who we can go to for help. You do? Oh, oh thank you, Bug. Okay, who? Well, um, her name's Cappuccino. She runs a nice little restaurant which uh, sells brunch. What's brunch? It's just breakfast and lunch mixed together. Mm, sounds kind of like a ripoff. Shut up, Benson. <sighs> Either way, everyone pays their own bill, as well as uh, the pay is, uh, you know, information. Since she knows secrets, she prefers to get more secrets to. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. I see how this goes. Yeah, those are the three rules. <laughs> As Izuku and Wolf just stare daggers at him. Three wolves. I only heard two. What about you, Wolfie? Yes. Wait. Don't call me Wolfie. It's like, oh, but it's adorable. It's like, I don't care. Don't, don't call me that. Either way. <clears throat> what's the third one? Probably something stupid. Let's not worry about it. As soon as we see the otters, Izuku, he is already pissed. Just, uh, let me kill them. No, they're going to make what they're saying about us right. I don't care what they think. All that matters is that they're... Okay, never mind. I forgot where I was going with this. <sighs> so, what's, what's your deal? Why are you doing all this crap? Well, we're performing at Cappuccino's restaurant soon, soon enough. So, we... We need to put on a nice little performance. Oh, that is perfect! You can take us with you, and considering that we know more about us than you do, see? Hmm. Do you not know the rules? Then looking at Dave's, we only know two of them, what's the third one? No humans allowed, or else you die a horrible, terrifyingly gruesome death that'll make you wish you had never been born. What? Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's the third rule. Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Cappuccino hates humans. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she feeds them to her uh, pet, and uh, it's not a pretty demise from what I've seen. I'm going to kill him. I I'm gonna kill Dave. He's like, Boy, you can't kill me. He's like, it will be so worth it to crush you like the bug you are. 
<laughs> Seriously, humans are savages. Well, let's not forget I'm part mute. Now what? <laughs> Izuku. What? He had this coming. How about this? We go with you and, you know, we wear disguises and whatnot and see how that goes. Do you? Mm, it'll be a chance for you to make a wonderful performance for Cappuccino. Deal! <laughs>